Julie's World vlog. Uh, 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 uh. So thank you so much for all your really nice comments and congratulations on last week's big news, finger news. <laughs> um, it's really great. I'm thrilled and surprised and I sort of never thought I would get married again. So I don't know. I feel like a young girl all over again, I guess. Um, so this week is a good one. It's, I think, flying home from France and then sort of getting back into the swing of life. Definitely busy trying to catch up, unfortunately, on like computer work and that kind of stuff. Not a lot of totally fun art making, but I've got my fingers crossed that there'll be some more of that coming soon. Plus, I got to teach a class and hang out with a bunch of really awesome creative ladies. So enjoy. Bye bye, France. We had a great time. Steve's going home in the middle seat. So, we have landed back in uh, the US and we are off to the grocery store because healthy eating after a week of indulgence starts now. So, and I found a solution to keeping this ring, which is too big, on my finger. I just have a hairband on here, but Steve says he's going to resize it. The mess is real and epic. Ugh. I are trying to get back to normal life so we're out for a walk in the neighborhood um i don't think we've really had jet lag too bad i actually think that we have been pretty good about it it's a surprisingly noisy road at 8 30 in the morning it has started to rain luckily steve suggested the umbrella <laughs> a wonderful invention so we are just uh we're not letting it deter us. We're walking on. Oh, there is. That's playing music. Oh, and there's a few things moving in there. That's crazy. So, Mom and I have been on a multi hour um search for these yoohoo glue sticks for my alter book class that i'm teaching this weekend it's been kind of hilarious we went to a lot of different stores we did a lot many of driving towns. many towns but we had a good time and we found them more importantly I went to the thrift store yesterday and I got a couple things. So I got this teapot, um, which I'm going to use for a scan and cut video. I also found a bureau, like a tall chest of drawers for $10. It's ugly. It's plain blue, but $10, come on, I'm going to paint it. It's going to be awesome. So in case you don't know my whole story, um, so I used to weigh way more than 300 pounds and I lost about um, more than 100 pounds in like 2012, 2013, 2014-ish. And so, and I did that all through Weight Watchers. And so I would say I'm still a big girl and that's fine with me. I've been big my whole life. I'm just not really unhealthy and ginormous. Um, but the issue is I sort of eat what I want. And then every now and then if the scale creeps up a little bit, you know, then I'm back to eating Weight Watchers lifestyle. Here is like what I'm having for my Weight Watchers meal. It's tomatoes, mushrooms that were cooked in chicken broth, sauerkraut, edamame, and um, spicy carrots, and this is all zero points, so I don't. I can eat like a restaurant meal later because I've eaten this at home for lunch. I saw these at the supermarket, and I love cauliflower, so I thought I would try that. I know that I like trying like weird, interesting foods. So let's see. Very crispy, like, and they don't taste like cauliflower. They mostly taste like salt. Um, they taste a little bit like grainy. Not the texture's not grainy, but you know when you eat like um, a multi-grain thing and it has a particular kind of texture. Um, I don't dislike them. But do I like them? I'm working on some scan and cut videos today. And so you can see I just finished decorating this cup and now I'm taking some photos of it. This is a true story, 100%. So, I am filming a bunch of scan and cut videos and trying to work through some different things and planning projects. 
And it's kind of exciting because I, um, I like the problem solving of it. Like people send me a question and I need to figure out how to show the video so that it applies to the, like the widest group of people. And so that it'll be interesting to everyone. And so that the directions are really clear. I don't know. I, I think this is why I like teaching because I like the process of breaking it down. It's kind of interesting. So Steve and I watched the show that we love called The Great British Baking Show, which is obviously tons of baking. It's really good. And he saw them making this thing called Beef Wellington and he said, I bet I could make that. Didn't you, Steve? I did. And 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 how did it go? I can see by your shirt. It was a rough go. <laughs> so it was a rough go, but I think it's going to be awesome. So here are the Beef Wellingtons that Steve made. I can't wait to cut into them. I'm really excited. No soggy bottoms! Yeah! Okay, Steve, do it. Cut it. Do you want a picture of you with it? No. Let's see what it looks like inside. I'm so excited. I don't think I've ever had Beef Wellington, actually. But they did look good on the Great British Baking Show, and they look good here. Ooh, nice and rare, just the way I like it. It looks delicious. I can't wait to you bite it. To tap, tap it. it. It's beautiful. Working. Mary Berry would be... I feel like Paul would give you a handshake. We now have to bite it and see. What did you think was going to happen, Steve? I was going to order dumplings for everyone. And how did it turn out in the end? Pretty good. Pretty good. In fact, Mom, you're a critical eater. They're great. These these little beef Wellingtons are great. They were the delicious. The Brussels sprouts with pancetta are great. Even the potatoes are great. It's all great. And it was so good, mine disappeared. You might have to have some more. I don't want to make you insanely jealous, but Steve made really cute individual pineapple upside down cakes which we are eating and enjoying so okay. cute and little it has a pineapple on it it's beautifully moist you're enjoying it right i'm enjoying it <laughs> i have a huge zit right here at what age are you too old to get zits and will i ever finally escape from zits we are watching a beam handling in the air Place. That's the hole where Steve and I had our first date, but it wasn't a hole at that time. So I'm on my way to teach my altered book class. Um, I basically unpacked my bag in order to pack it today. And um, it's my first time actually teaching in someone's home, so I'm kind of excited about that. Um, I don't know what it's going to be like, but I think it's going to be a nice casual kind of atmosphere. Um, but we'll see. <laughs> Show me blue steel. Don't look at the mess. <laughs> and thanks so much for watching. See you next week. Mm -hmm.